There are two main types of fire alarms in a workplace, those resulting from automatic detectors or those where a visitor or a member of staff has raised the alarm. The majority of fire alarms will be automatic and will usually be displayed at the fire board, which is often located in building reception areas. Now, many things can trigger a false alarm. Air fresheners, deodorants, hairsprays, or even steam from showers. But you never know when it is the real thing, so every alarm must be checked. When an alarm is sounded, most staff must leave the premises by the quickest route guiding any visitors in their area to safety. Staff who have been given specific roles to play, such as supervisors or fire wardens, should now follow the instructions on their departmental evacuation checklists. These instructions may involve ensuring areas are clear, directing people safely out of the building, switching or turning off equipment, and grounding any lifts. The checklist contents will be determined by information obtained during regular building fire assessment. If an automatic call to the fire service has not already been made, the designated person must contact the fire service. The duty fire coordinator should refer to a fire card or fire file that defines actions and duties that should be undertaken in the event of a fire alarm. Some businesses may have a day fire file and a night or weekend file that takes into account the different risks and staffing levels that arise at night and over the weekend.